Hi, it's me again, and I'm back with another one of the letters from the good people at TV Licensing. And I used the word good very loosely there indeed. Now, I think I've covered this one before, but this one is really doing the rounds at the minute. I mean, you lie out there are brilliant, and you send me all your copies of your letters so I can keep an archive of them and see if there's any new ones going around. And it also helps me see what sort of the big trend is in the letters at the moment. And this one I have been sent hundreds of times in the last few weeks, hundreds. It's really doing the rounds, and some people are genuinely properly scared by it. So I thought we need to take a little look at this one. So if you have received it, I can help you understand what it is they're trying to do here. Have a look at this one with me. Dear Sir slash Madam, as you have not responded to our letters yet, you have left us no alternative but to proceed with the final stages of our investigation. An officer has been scheduled to visit your address to find out if TV is being watched, recorded or downloaded illegally. The officer may visit your property any day of the week, morning or evening. The information below explains the procedure. You may refer to it during a visit from the officer. Blimey, they are proper cranking that up, aren't they? They are basically saying, don't ignore us. You must talk to us. You can't ignore us. We're going to send the boys round to your house. They're trying to scare you with a visit from the boys. And there was another group that did that. I believe they were known as the Mafia. They did a very similar thing, didn't they? But one thing that always makes me laugh about these most of all, right, and this one in particular, you have not responded, blah, blah, blah. You have left us no alternative but to proceed with the final stages of our investigation. Oh, no, don't investigate me, please. How's that investigation going? Let's have a look. They let us know in this letter. Look, dear sir, madam, you don't know my name then. To the legal occupier, uh, you don't know my name then. How's that investigation going? Not gone as far as to find my name, has it? So how are you going to find if I'm watching TV illegally at my address or not? So yeah, don't worry too much about it. Let's see what else they've got to say and then I'll tell you how to handle it. What you need to know about the enforcement process. We can apply to court for a search warrant to gain access to your property. An officer may interview you under caution in accordance with national criminal law. Anything you say to the officer can be used as evidence in court. You risk a fine of up to £1,000 plus legal costs. If your property needs a TV licence, you will still need to buy one. That is bad, isn't it? How do they get away with that? It's important to remember at this point that you don't legally have to have a television license if you don't watch or record anything that's been shown or use BBC iPlayer. Have they asked that in this letter? Have they asked that at all? Do you need a TV license? No, they're assuming guilt. They're assuming you need one and you're doing something you shouldn't and they're gonna send the boys round. How the hell do they get away with that? If you don't require a television license, you don't need to tell them. You can tell them. I have chosen to in the past. I choose not to anymore. But you don't have to tell them anything. You don't have to have any contact with them. You don't have to respond to their letters. Who the hell do they think they are? You don't have to do anything. You can just blank them off completely. And when you do, even if you're a law-abiding citizen who doesn't watch anything they shouldn't watch without their television license, this is how you get treated. And that's okay, is it? We all agree now that that's okay. You know, as a country, this is fine. We can treat innocent people just like this by saying we can apply for a search warrant. An officer may interview you under caution. Anything you say to the officer may be used as evidence. They're not the police. <laughs> it's really important to remember they're not the police. They're not bailiffs. They don't have any powers. If they do knock on your door, they are no one. All right? They have no more power than you or me. They are door-to-door -door salesmen that earn commission by selling you something you may not need. And they do that by scaring you and trying to stitch you up into paying for it. And there's only one way to deal with these people, and it's your right, because remember, they're not police and they're not bailiffs. So the best way to deal with these people, when you open the door and they say, hello, I'm from TV licensing, no thanks, shut the door. Done. And they toddle off. You don't believe that's a thing? Have a look on my channel. I've got a playlist of people's goon visits where they just close the door in their face because that's their right to do so. These people are salesmen. Imagine someone coming to sell you encyclopedias. You know, I don't want it. Bye. That's, it's that simple. That's how you have to think about these people. Don't be scared by them saying it was a search warrant, blah, blah, blah. You can't get a warrant without having any evidence. And if you haven't spoken to them, they don't have any evidence because there's no such thing as detective hands. They can't detect what you're watching. It, that word is there to scare you. An officer may interview you under caution. That's there to scare you into believing you must talk to them. They're nobody. They're not police. They're not bailiffs. You can close the door. If you don't believe me, it says so 
on the TV licensing's own website. Have a look. See, straight from the horse's mouth, they're nothing. They're door-to-door -door salesmen. Anything you say to an officer can be used as evidence in court. But we're not saying anything to the officer. We've just closed the door. So shove it. <laughs> it's really trying to scare you. And I do not know how they get away with it. I couldn't make any more complaints about these letters to everyone I can think of. You know, MPs and like, institutions and Capita and the BBC themselves. I complain all over the shop anytime I see one of these letters. Nothing. They just get away with it. And no other company could possibly, possibly get away with trying to sell you a product in this manner. They're assuming guilt. They're assuming you are doing something you shouldn't be doing. At no point in any of this letter does it say, if you don't need a TV licence, you can just carry on ignoring us, as is your right to do. Wrong, isn't it? It's absolutely wrong. So if you've had this letter, please don't be scared by it. They can't do anything. Their investigation's absolute nonsense. That's why they haven't found the person's name out on this letter yet. And they're salesmen. Close the door in their face, they toddle off. You will hear no more from them. You might get another knock in the future. They'll get another door closed in their face. They'll soon stop coming back. They'll go look for easier prey because they earn commission. They want to earn their commission. And if they're not going to get it from you, they're not going to waste their petrol and their time, are they? So apologies for that there. I went off on a bit of one, didn't I? I just had to go and have a cup of tea and come back and finish this. Calm down a bit. Because these letters really wind me up. And this one in particular, because I just don't know how they get away with being so scary. I don't know. But if you know people who are getting the letters from TV licensing, please do share these videos with them. I've got a whole playlist of the letters where I've done pretty much all the letters now. Have a look on the channel. You'll find the playlist of all the letters. If you get any letters and you want to send it to me, you'll find out how to do so below. Why are you down there? Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this letter. Try and keep it as clean as you can. Hey, and um, yeah, I will see you in another video again soon. Thank you for watching.